Hi guys, welcome back to Vitaly Style. So, first of all, if I sound nasally, it's because I am sick. But I wanted to get this video up for you because I've been gone for like almost two weeks and I wanted to kind of explain why just a little tiny bit. Um, if you follow me on social media and on my vlog channel, you'll know that I was working at a trade show at the flower, the Philadelphia Flower Show uh, last week for about eight days. I worked 104 hours there. So you guys know I've been, I was just incredibly busy and I just didn't have time to upload anything on this channel, film anything. Joe and I were exhausted by the time we came home, so really there was no time to edit. And uh, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I just kind of wanted to explain where I've been, and I hope you understand why I've been MIA. But I promise you that will be the longest break I take from this channel. It just, I think, I didn't realize how busy I would be at the flower show, plus I had to like go to New York City for two days in between that, and then I got sick. It was just like, it's been crazy. So. I'm back and finally I'm going to bring you, um, this I'm going to call it, I don't really know what I'm going to call for, I'm going to call this video yet. So whatever the title, title says is what I've decided. But a lot of you had requested that I would show the makeup and outfits that I wore in Miami a few weeks ago. Now if you know, um, again if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I was in Miami with my husband for a few days for the South Beach Food and Wine Festival and I, up, I posted a few pictures. Um, before I went to my events at night on Instagram and I had everybody asking for a makeup tutorial and uh, style videos. We couldn't do any makeup tutorials there because the lighting was so bad and I guess I didn't expect that because I did pack everything with me to film. Uh, but I figured I'd recreate it for you right here in my own makeup room. Now, we were there was four events we went to. Um, the first two nights I wore this makeup look and different outfits, of course, and then the, uh, the following two nights I wore the same makeup look, not this one, but like a different makeup look, and then I'll show you the outfits that, the, that went with it. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this look, which in the video, in the tutorial, I do apply false lashes. I actually filmed that video yesterday, but the intro got cut off, so I'm refilming the intro. So I'm filming this makeup tutorial. I was going for like a really bronzy, glowy look. Um, it was on the beach. All the events were held on the beach, so I didn't even wear heels. I'm a total heels girl, but I had to wear flats because you were on sand, so that was kind of interesting. Um, so I wanted like a really bronzy look, dewy, nude lip. I don't know. That's just kind of what I like and what I go for. So that's what I decided to do for the first two nights and then just change things up a little bit for the rest of the time I was there, which I'll show you in another video. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Again, I'm going to show you guys the makeup and then I'll show you the two outfits I wore day one and night one and two. And I apologize if the lighting isn't great, but we did film it last night right in here across uh, like right about against my shoes, my shoe wall. So hopefully it works out well. We did our best and, and hopefully Mother Nature will cooperate and give us some good weather soon so we can do some style videos outside. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to upload this video and then after this video, I'm going to have like a little quick chit chat video where I've been, a few products I've been loving. And then after that, I'm going to upload my Miami look and outfit part, okay, part two video. Let me know what you want to see next. I miss you guys so much and I want to just thank all of you that came to the flower show to say hi and to bring me kinder. Uh, it was just a pleasure meeting um, so many of you. So anyway, without further ado, on with the tutorial. Starting with my eyes first, I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Iced Mocha just to, I suppose, just to prime them and pop that all over the lid. And then I'm just going to use the Sigma, what is this, E35, just to blend out the edges. Using my Lorac Pro in this color called Pewter, right over here. And just the flat, uh, large shader brush from Sigma, E60. I am going to pat that all over the lid. Make sure you get the inner corner as well. Using the Sigma E25 in this color right here called Taupe. I'm going to put that right into my crease as a transition color. Using my Lorac Unzipped Palette in this color right here called Uncensored with that large shader brush, I'm going to kind of just pack that a little tiny bit right into the outer corner of my eye. But just, you know, not just the crease, you just, I'm, I needed a color to intensify things a little tiny bit. 
just gonna go with my E20, uh, E35 with nothing on it. I just need to blend out that edge. Now I'm gonna combine a mixture of sable and espresso. Oh, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Sable and espresso. I'm gonna kind of combine the two on my blending E25 brush. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner and then into the crease just to intensify things. And I'm kind of lifting it up almost on the brow bone right here just because I wanna create that sort of cat eye shape. But then we're gonna blend that out. And then just take the E35 and blend till you can't blend anymore. <laughs> now I'm taking that shader, that large shader brush again in the color gold from the Lovac Pro and I'm going to pat this in the center of the lid. Now, you can see that I can definitely see the gold, right? But if you wanted to intensify things a bit more, which I'm going to in just a second, I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm just gonna take some Fix Plus. I'm gonna spray my brush. Pat down the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too wet. Go back in with gold and then just pat it in the center of the lid. Just taking the E35 brush and going into the crease just to blend it all together. Okay, now I'm just going to apply some liquid liner. I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in Intense Black. And I am just going to do a nice wing liner. Now that you have your liner on, I'm going to take um, this is a Makeup Geek crease brush, and I'm going to mix these two together again, Sable and Espresso. And I'm going to intensify that very outer crease just a tad. I feel like it, I don't know, I feel like it pulls it all together, especially because I'm going to be adding some false lashes. I don't know, I just really like it, but you can leave it out, of course. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Here we go. Apply a coat of mascara. I'm using this L'Oreal um, Million Lashes, Voluminous Million Lashes. Just a couple coats of that. And as for lashes, I'm using my Ardell Wispies, which you know I cut in half. So I'm gonna just take each half some of my Revlon um, eyelash precision lash glue on each one and then just pop them right on to the outer corner of my eyes. Just push them in with the um, this end of your tweezers and you know the glue is going to dry clear. So let's let the glue dry and in the meantime work on the face. For primer I'm going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless. This is a little travel size that I took with me. Um, to Miami and I love this primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. It's just fabulous. I'm going in with my Master Corrector in number two. Popping that under the eyes. I hope that the camera is at the right position. Okay, blend that with my fingers. For foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever HD and I'm mixing together 128 and 140. 128 is a slight bit too dark for me. It worked perfectly when I was there and I had just gotten my tan. <laughs> but now it's just a bit too dark. So I mix the two together on the back of my hand. It should be pretty perfect. It is a good combination for me. I'm gonna blend that in with the beauty blender. I'm gonna go in with my under eye concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind just under my eyes. And a touch around the nose because it's a tiny, tiny bit red. And now before I set my under eyes, I be 
when you're working with creams or liquids, um, you wanna make sure you do all your cream and liquid before you move on to powder. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contouring using my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the color Almond. So right in there, a little on the forehead and touch on the side of the nose. It's not perfect, we're gonna blend it out. But I'm also gonna use something to highlight. I didn't want anything like my MAC Prep and Prime, this is ridiculous. My MAC Prep and Prime and Light Boost was just a bit too light for me. And I wanted, I suppose, like a more of a subtle highlight, nothing too strong. So I'm gonna use my Nude Wear a Touch of Glow Nude Glow Highlight Concealer, I guess, from Physician's Formula. I really like this. And I feel like it's perfect for that. Like it's not going to be too much. So I'm gonna pop that there. And down the nose, cupid's bow, chin area. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and very carefully and with patience start blending it all out. I start with the darkest and never feather down. I kind of feather up. Flip my beauty blender around and then do the light. And when you do the light, you can kind of blend that on to the bronzer or to the foundation stick as well. But you see how it's not too light? It's kind of perfect, really. And I'm just going to set right under my eyes with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm just going to use this brush from the Tapered Highlighter F35 just because I have it near me. That's just for under my eyes. And to set everything else, I'm going to use, because I wanted to have make sure my it was really like flawless complexion, I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Medium Dark with my foundation, um, sorry, with the Sigma 40 brush, like powder brush. Very lightly, nothing too strong. Now also, when I was in Florida, my skin was just hydrated because it was humid. Um, not that it was shiny, but it wasn't like dry as bone as it is right now. So I definitely needed to powder. So now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And instead of using like a matte bronzer on top of my contour, I decided to have my contour and then just kind of bronze up the face. And because you have that cream contour, it's naturally gonna just be darker there than everywhere else. So I'm using my Buxom bronzer in Tahiti. I love this. And the brush I'm using today is my powder brush from Bobbi Brown. It's like tapered at the top. It's really a, kind of an awesome brush. So, smells amazing. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite bronzers of life. So just, you see, I mean, it's because you have that, because you had that cream contour, it's naturally going to appear darker where, like on top of it. So that, and it's just like the most beautiful, like, I don't know, I just love this, this, this bronzer so much. For blush, I am using Max um, Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul, and the blush brush I'm using is an equal, equal tools. I always get these two confused. It's a Real Techniques blush brush. Swirl that in there, and pop it on the apples of the cheek, and run it back. And if that's not glowy enough, because you know I like to, I, I like to sparkle like a disco ball. I'm going with my Becca highlighter in opal, in my F35, right on the cheek, on the apple, the cheekbone, just like that. Just keeping it with that bronze look. Okay. Before we move on to anything else, let's finish up the eyes. I am going to highlight under my brow bone using the color Nude from my Lorac Pro. And then I'm gonna use Champagne in my inner corners. And then because I wanted this to be a bit smoky, I'm going to put some black eyeliner, tight line, and waterline. And then I'm just gonna take Espresso and Sable. I'm gonna mix those two together again and using like a pencil brush, I'm gonna smoke out my 
bottom lash line. Back in with my mascara, and you know I just like to touch my real lashes and my falsies together. A little bit on the waterline, and not the waterline, the bottom lash line. And that is done. I'm going to spray with my MAC Fix Plus because I want to have a really dewy finish, and I feel like this definitely does it for me. When I was there, I didn't need to do this, so I just used my regular um, Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just a fan, fan, fan. And for lips, I'm going to fill in my whole lip liner with my uh, Palladio Lip Liner in Salmon. Then I'm going to outline with a MAC Lip Liner in Spice. Oldie but goodie. And then for lipstick, I'm using Naked 2, the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. And then I'm going to top that with NARS Turkish Delight favorite lip liner of all time. And that is the makeup that I wore day uh, night one and two. Um, I just kind of went with, I went with two looks for the four nights that we had the events to go to. I wore this look for the first two nights and I'm going to show you the next look in an another video. Um, including the outfits. But today this is the look. I'm going to show you the outfits and then that will be it. So all of the events were held on the beach. There were big tents and they were held on the beach. And the uh, like the theme or the dress code, I guess, was beach chic. So nothing too fancy, nothing too dressy, no heels, just comfortable and put together. So all of my outfits kind of were very similar in that, you know, in that aspect. So the first one is this, uh, the first night I wore this black jumpsuit, which is from Express, and it's just black, it's strapless, so it's really casual, it's a little bit big for me, I wear a size small on Express, and this is, they only had a medium, but I kind of feel like it works, I don't know, so it's all solid black, and then I carried my little Michael Kors black and gold clutch, just to make things easier, I apologize for the mic, but Otherwise, you can't hear me, so I have to wear a mic and I have to hold it. <laughs> and my shoes, because I'm, I'm a total heels girl, obviously, but it, you couldn't wear heels on the beach, so you had to wear flats. So the flats, I'm wearing these sandals are from Aldo, and they're just gold and tan, and I just feel like they looked very, I don't know, casual, but yet still dressy with a little bit of pop with the gold um, across the ankles and across the toes. Sorry, I got lipstick. I got hair in my lipstick, but that's just the way it goes. So yeah, this was the first outfit. My necklace, sorry, my necklace is from Shop Lately, and all my necklaces, all most of my statement necklaces are from Shop Lately. So anyway, this was look number one. So for night two for the Burger Bash, again, still keeping with that same theme. I wore one of my f most favorite finds ever from Forever 21, if you can believe it or not. It's this like royal blue slash purple jumpsuit, and it is just like the most perfect, I don't know, this look, this as you can see will drag, you know, drag a little because it's a bit long and I'm wearing, I wore the same shoes, but this will look great with heels or flats. It's just, I feel like it's really, it's, it's kind of goes on your body really beautifully, but yet it curves you and, you know, it hugs you in the right places, right where your curves are. But it's just really flowy and comfortable. And then for my bag, I just wore my Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag because it's white and gold, which goes good with my accessories. But also I wanted to have my hands free to be able to eat all the amazing burgers. <laughs> uh, my earrings, which were the same as last, uh, the last outfit, these are from Betsy Johnson. So these are just really big, um, you know, studs, I guess. And then my necklace is another one. I don't know. I believe this was from, from either Shop Lately or Express. I really can't remember, to be honest. But this is really old, so I don't think you could find it anymore. But I believe it was from Shop Lately. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Same makeup I wore the night before. Uh, same shoes. Just this jumpsuit. So that will do it for today's video. Let me know if you like this. I apologize. It's no fancy outfit of the day, but it is like pouring rain and storming outside. So we make do with what we've got. Um, I hope this was helpful. I will bring you part two uh, in just a few days. Let me know what you want to see next. And let me know if you enjoy this kind of video, if you want to see more often. I'll see you guys next time.